New tonight, a Brown County man devastated by a car accident almost six years ago, now facing another battle. That's right. Taylor Davis was in a head on collision in June of 2018. That crash killed his wife and left him permanently injured. WLWT News 5 anchor Chris Jacobs is in Georgetown with the new challenge he's facing. It was on this stretch of US 68. Taylor Davis's life was changed forever. He says he was coming back home with his wife after shopping at Walmart and was only five minutes from home when he was hit head on in the collision. Now, while recovery seemed almost impossible, now financial troubles are getting in the way. I have flashbacks every now and then of I hear my wife screaming and crying, hollering at me. Now I wake up. I don't sleep that good. The memory of June 6th, 2018 hasn't gone away for Taylor Davis. I spent three and a half months in the hospital on life support, went through 31 surgeries, and they said I shouldn't be here to this day, but I'm, I'm here. The survivor of a tragic crash, Davis hasn't stopped fighting. It was on that day almost six years ago. Stephen Cluxton crossed the center line on US 68 and collided head on with Davis's truck. My wife ended up dying when she was in emergency surgery, and they said that I was pretty much dead from get go. Described as extensive, Davis lost his wife of 25 years, a car he and his father built, and the ability to work. When they sent me home in a wheelchair. I said, I don't want to be in a wheelchair. I was paralyzed, and I taught myself how to walk again. But now Davis is having to walk through different obstacles, not physical, but financial. I think about it every day. Just, just I need, and plus Social Security, like I told you, stop my pay and stuff, and it just runs through my head, everything that I'm going through. It's been, been kind of hard on me. And the problems kept mounting. Davis's car was repoed for lack of payment, and he's already passed due on his rent, unable to find work because of the crash. I actually tried to go back to Georgia Pacific because I had 20 years with them, and my boss told me because we would love to have you back, but they said I'm too big of a liability. Now the big question remains, what will be the next step for Taylor Davis? Cluxton was given an 11 year sentence and also ordered to pay $477,000 in restitution. Money Davis says he never received. Reporting in Georgetown, Ohio, Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5.